Hello everyone. In this video, I will be showing you how to create a new user in Office 365. Now in order to do this, you will need to be an administrator, so either a global administrator or have the user management admin role assigned to you. And when you first log into Office 365, you will probably be brought to the admin center. However, if you're not, you can click on the grid icon in the top left corner to open up your app drawer and then just click on admin and you will be brought to the admin center. So after you get into the admin center, the first thing you're going to do is click on users to expand that section on the left here and then click active users. This is going to give you a list of all of the users in your Office 365 instance. So to create a new one, very simple, you just click on the plus button right here, enter in some information, so first name, last name, display name, which is how people will see this person, this user's name when they email them or IM them, anything like that. And it will be auto-populated based on the first and last name that you enter, but you can change it to whatever you want it to be. Then you'll have to specify a username. This is what the user's email address will be. You can also change the domain name that is used with that email address. So if you have more than one domain registered with Office 365, you can pick whichever one makes the most sense for that user. Then you'll have the option to either have the password be automatically generated for this user in which case it will be displayed uh, after you click the create button or you will be able to type the password up for this user so manually specifying what the user's password will be which is what i'm going to do right now and the password requirements are a little bit str uh, strong so you're going to need to have an uppercase a lowercase a number and or a symbol so you have to pick three of those things um, and use at least three of them in your password. It also cannot be any part of the actual username, so the part before the at symbol in this user's email address. And then after you specified a password or had it automatically generated, you can decide whether you want the person to have to change their password the next time they sign in. So this is useful, especially if you have auto-generated the password so that they can set it up, uh, set their password to be something that they can more easily remember and makes a little bit more sense for them. You can, of course, still leave it checked if you do type the password, um, but if you are typing the password, you could technically set it to be what that user wants it to be anyway, so it's a, it's a personal preference slash policy kind of decision there, whether you make them change their password the next time. After that option, we can specify where we want the user's new password to be emailed to. So by default, the email address in here is going to be that of the admin account that is being used to create this user but you can specify up to five recipients for this. So you could technically have the password be emailed to this admin account, as well as the user's external email address if they have one, um, or another user within your Office 265 instance who does user management other than yourself, something like that. Um, as long as there's no more than five recipients in here, everyone will receive the password for this user. After you specify where the password will be emailed, you can select the type of licenses you would like to assign to the user. Now in this case, um, this Office 365 instance only has one kind of license, so I actually don't have a choice in which license I assign, but if you have more than just one, you will be able to pick which type of license to assign to the user you're creating. Now that we're all done entering all of that information, you can just click on Create. It'll give you a brief overview of the user you just created. So you'll see the username, the password that you set or that was auto-generated, and the type of license that you ended up assigning to that user. We can click on close now. And if we go and search for that user, 
we can see that they were successfully created in Office 365. Now it'll take a little bit for the mailbox to get set up, but um, they can log in immediately um, and it'll just take between like five and 20 minutes to get there, the uh, mailbox set up depending on your internet speed. All right, so that is how you set up a new user in Office 365. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.